What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound, so come by and say hello. All right, not sure if you have been following along the Mav chat. It's gotten much more difficult for me to keep up with over the uh, the past couple of months here. Just with all the new Mavs, there's a lot more chatter in there, and it's just uh, there's a lot of messages. But I did want to highlight something which is. I mean, as official of an, a, rele a release as we can get without it being under the official announcements or us getting a post, but it was Cryptomancer, who was the lead developer, I believe, on the uh, Modern and Wild format, uh, or the upcoming Modern and Wild format, and um, as it stands right now, it sounds like, officially from the lead developer, we are getting uh, Modern and Wild pushed out to May. Now, they're saying that they are still hoping that ranked rewards will be this month, and by this month, I mean April of 2022, but again, not even making any firm uh, commitments at that or at this time. So in, uh, in the video following last week's town hall, that was one of my biggest takeaways. Again, it was just like, expect delays. You know, we were hoping to get Modern and Wild and the ranked rewards updates uh, out by the end of the year. Sorry, not the year, but the month. Um, but it just seemed like, and, and I think Cryptomancer even spoke to it in the uh, in some of the follow-up questioning here in conversation, that there it's it's not necessarily a disconnect, but I think different teams have different timelines. So for Cryptomancer working on, you know, the development side of it and then what Nate had brought on in terms of the creative side, there's just different timelines. And so getting it by the end of April, which is what we had originally heard in the uh, in the town hall maybe two weeks ago or three weeks ago, um, that is just not in the cards for us right now. So given that we are we're we're doing 15 days a season and i know that they want to implement modern and wild um or at least that major change at the beginning of a season it looks like we are now probably going to get it at some point or at least the earliest i should say mid-may because this season started i want to say uh, at the beginning of of april so i was looking at it in like two 15 day seasons is going to get us right to the end or beginning of may right right to the end of april or beginning of may so if that ends up being the case then you know we have roughly two seasons a month with uh, that kind of timeline we, the earliest we would see it is probably going to be mid-May. And again, if there's any delays, then uh, look to see that probably, hopefully, by the end of April, but probably early June. Now, what was interesting and part of the follow-up here, and I'm not going to look through the messages because that might take a little more time, but I just wanted to, to, to mention it here, is that it seems as though ranked rewards is the bigger priority for the team, at least according to Cryptomancer. And that makes sense. I mean, I think people are looking right now at, uh, you know, what what the earnings in this game are like. Obviously, with DEC coming back down to its peg, the bronze rewards having been nerfed since October of last year. And so for a lot of the newer players who are coming into this game, and by newer players, I mean the people who are just discovering it maybe a, a week or two or a month ago that are still just not ready to maybe commit to, you know, buying in fully when it comes to a, a deck, but are kind of just playing around and seeing what it's like. I can understand, and if you saw the, the bronze bot video that I did, it's a, it's a tough go sometimes, especially down in bronze. And I think it's just bronze specifically. Um... <laughs> unless you have leveled up cards and or some of the legendary summoners bronze can be an absolute grind because everybody's kind of on that level playing field and this is one of the things that i'll say for a different video once i have a little bit more time to play in silver but i feel like once you get into silver and you start uh, and you're able to start playing with um you know some of the leveled up cards and abilities more more specifically the meta of the game changes dramatically and becomes much more fun at that point but taking this back to the rank rewards this is something that, um, for me specifically, I think will be fantastic in terms of what this happens, uh, what happens in bronze, because for all of the new folks, and now when I say new folks, I'm talking about the people who joined in the last couple of months or last couple of weeks, but also the people who joined around the time that I joined that are still playing in bronze and silver. This will redefine the game experience, right? Because now all of a sudden the level of progression, hopefully, with the upcoming changes to, um, you know, what the daily quests will be and how uh, the incentive will be to continue playing throughout not just the day, but the season. And then also with hopefully more chests, meaning more potential rewards and cards. And, and you know, granted, even at the lower levels right now, 
it's it's pretty bad even in even in silver like silver three you get two chests and yes there's a 50 percent chance of getting a card but sometimes you get a potion and you're like Ugh, <laughs> right so hopefully with the higher amount of chests but less chances of getting the higher rewards which is kind of what the team has been hinting at uh and what they did with the chaos legion packs in these uh in these reward chests if we get something like that at least it'll make it much more appealing for players at the lower levels to continue to continue grinding, continue building. And if the um, you know the daily quests end up being something different, where it's not just a one and done, but maybe the more you play, the more you earn, right? Like so, maybe the more uh, you know the the daily quest will be something tiered. And again, I'm, this is all speculation. I have no idea, but uh, you know if it's something tiered where it's just like okay, well if you do like five battles and then ten battles and then fifteen battles, like whatever the whatever the thing is, you earn more and more as you go that could be something really cool and allow for um and allow for people to to get something out of the game although the more that i think about it, it can't be that because that's just going to get farmed by bots for cards so who knows how that's being done i'm not the one thinking about it thankfully i'm not the one i'm not the one planning it <laughs> thankfully but uh that is uh that is where things stand so as as it stands right now we are still kind of just in this in this lull period where Hopefully, uh, you guys are making the most of the cheaper card prices or the lower card prices, I should say, and uh, and building up your deck and just yeah, I mean, I get it, I get it. It's frustrating, and uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to look at this objectively. Obviously, I I know that the team is working incredibly hard on this, so I I'm not trying to put this on them. This is something that I think is is going to be difficult to implement, and that's one of the things that that uh, Cryptomancer had gone into that. It seemed even to them that Modern and Wild getting split out was just a simple flip of the switch, right? You just designate which cards are uh, for each, and uh, it sounds like it has morphed into something a little bit more complicated. The The other side of this, though, with the rank rewards is that if that is where the focus is, then maybe we do still have something to look forward to in the month of April. Um, and at that point in time... <clears throat> I'm just going to say it right now and put it out there. I'm sure many people wouldn't be happy about it. But if we do get rank rewards this month, I would say Modern and Wild may not even come out in May. Just saying that. Because I think that they will want to see how the rewards play out. They don't want to do too many updates at the same time. And if if they are able to get ranked rewards out, it's going to be a big enough change that you know hopefully the... The, <clears throat> the community will be happy about it and be exploring it and seeing what the ramifications and implications are. But if that happens, I guess what I'm saying right now is I, I don't expect Modern and Wild. <laughs> I don't expect Modern and Wild until June at this point. But maybe I'm just hedging my emotional bets at this point and, and not wanting to get my hopes up about it. So hopefully we get ranked rewards this month. Again, you know, the team is not confirming anything about that. They are saying Modern and Wild, hoping for May. But I guess at this point, I, I'm ready for it to be June just because we've seen so many delays on it already. And uh, to the reasoning that I said uh, a minute ago, that if they do come out with one major update, whether it's this month or next month, I don't think that there's any way that they're going to implement Modern and Wild in the same kind of batch. Because, And this, this is actually counterintuitive. If you were watching a video of me maybe a month ago, I was thinking that they were going to implement both of these changes at once. But it really sounds like the, the development on these are not happening um, in a uh, it, in an integrated fashion is the way I should put it. I thought that maybe they were going to try and just wrap everything up together, modern and wild rank rewards, but it does sound like they do want to release these separately. So if they do get rank rewards out this month or even next month, um, I, I don't think we see modern and wild until June. So. Just putting that out there. If it comes sooner, again, I will be the happiest person. But I do want to give a realistic analysis on what was uh, on what was mentioned here. And again, this is officially unofficial or unofficially official, however you want to phrase it, just because of the fact that it was mentioned by the lead developer. So I don't think that you know, there's nobody saying that we're going to get Modern and Wild in in April. So I think that for sure is. Um, is confirmed. But in terms of when we do end up getting it, uh, that is still up in the air. And while they're hoping for May, there's no firm commitments at this time. So would love to hear you guys' thoughts. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed, but you know what? We can commiserate together down in the comment section below. I will. Uh, I think that's all I have for this video. So I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game. Have a good one.